It's on. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a tour of our 2011 Freightliner Sprinter 170 Extended. So we have our passenger seat on a swivel. And with that swiveled, our friend built us this great little box work as a footrest when you're lounging so with this seat and our rollover sofa we've got a nice big lounge so we have two fantastic fans and they have uh they're i guess the maybe the in-between model they have three speeds as well as a in and out function and uh, it's really nice to have two of them so we can open this one and we can open the one in the back and have great cross ventilation without needing to have the doors open or the windows. Nice and quiet. We installed this one T vent window which also adds a ton of great ventilation. And when we have the sliding door open and we can be cooking here at the stove and it's really nice, well ventilated. A big advantage of this extended wheelbase is just all the space we have. So this front part, we call it the lounge and then here we have our galley and this is six foot in length and it's solid butcher block material. And we have our Dometic sink with hot and cold mixing valve and then our Dometic uh, two burner stove. Sorry, not Dometic. And this runs off a propane tank, uh, which is mounted underneath the van. And uh, this pulls water from either a city water direct connection or from our 20 gallon freshwater tank. A nice touch underneath this cabinet for the galley. We've got a nice bright LED light so you can see what you're doing as well as uh, a 110 outlet. And there's another 110 outlet down here at the end of the galley. So below the rollover sofa is where we keep our water. This is a 20 gallon freshwater tank. There's a, a manual fill as well as a city fill uh, just on the other side of the van to the outside. And from here, water is pumped into this cabinet where we have a suburban propane six gallon hot water 
heater. And uh, then that water is pumped either to the sink here or to the back for a hot and cold uh, shower. So right under here, this is our 2000 watt sine wave inverter. Uh, and this powers our 110 volt outlets throughout the cabin. And we have a an additional outlet here, as well as a USB charging port. And this is where we keep our fire extinguisher mounted uh, just behind the driver's seat. In addition to the fire extinguisher for safety, we have the smoke detector, as well as a CO2 alarm that's in the back. Throughout the cabin, we have some D-rings placed strategically. Uh, these were designed so that we could suspend paddle boards from this ceiling. And uh, we've got enough space in here that we've really never used them, but we do clip carabiners to them and stow other kinds of gear. And we also have lots of these hooks throughout the cabin and they are super handy and we use them all the time. So we had Van Specialties make us a set of window covers. Uh, these covers are uh, like an artificial leather and they have snaps. Pretty simple operation. So I unroll these and snap them into place. With these covers in, uh, they really do create a nice blackout condition for the inside of the van. So uh, if we have lights on, can't really see what's going on in here. So it's pretty good. So this is our rollover sofa. Uh, it's a great lounge and it converts into a bed very easily. This part pulls forward and then this flips up and over and drops down. And what I like about it is that there's still enough room that you can get past this if you need to. So in addition to the queen size bed, you could sleep two here. And I'm six feet tall, over six feet. And you can see there's plenty of length for me. So it's actually a pretty good sleeping option. We've never had to use it because we've always kept the, the main mattress platform deployed, but it is a good option. And if you're carrying motorbikes or something in the back, and you didn't have the bed frame up, uh, this would be a super comfortable way to sleep. Another nice feature that Van Specialties provided for us is this front window privacy curtain. So this spans the whole length of the front and the driver and passenger windows and just blocks view so there's privacy i don't know if you can see that it, they are not blackout however so um, we will also add a, a sun screen to the main windshield which does add a little bit of extra uh, blackout privacy but some light does get through in the gaps it's not something that we've ever worried about but if we were doing a lot of urban camping we'd probably add a little extra material or we've come up with a, a blackout option. I'll show you how this goes on. You just have snaps all along. There you go. There's one half. and a very fluffy dog. So this is the heart of our electrical system. And over here we have uh, two ceiling lights, both on dimmers. And we set this up so that there are four dimmable LEDs in the front of the cabin and then another six back here. So with that, we can really divide the space and make rooms out of it, which is cool. Over here we have our suburban water heater 
and our water pump. And then this is our ZAMP solar charge controller uh, showing what our uh, current AGM battery charge is. And we're powering off of a 100 watt solar panel on the roof of the van. For appliances, we do have this microwave, although uh, this is only useful when we're plugged into shore power or when we have the engine running. Um, but there have been a few times where it's really come into handy when we've needed to heat something up uh, during a quick stop. So this is our Dometic fridge. It is fantastic. It's over three cubic feet in interior volume, and it has an ice chest, and it does a great job. We've managed to pack this full for extended vacations and it works really well. So for cabin heating, we have a Webasto diesel air top and uh, the, this is the send from the heater. So this is where the hot air comes out of and it's a great location. It's very central. Uh, some folks have their Webastos coming underneath the passenger seat, uh, but I really like it here because uh, this will get hot air throughout the cabin in a nice even way. And that unit is uh, inside this cabinet on a separate shelf from the suburban hot water heater. So one of the things we love about this van is all of the cabinet space. It's pretty insane just how much we can store here. Uh, the cabinets have these heavy duty uh, mechanisms and they're very secure. And uh, one of our favorite features is this pull out pantry. Uh, this thing is just awesome. We can fit so much in here and it's so practical. So if you have an option, to get one of these built in your van or to build one yourself, I highly recommend it. One of our favorite features. So back here is the bedroom and this is where we have, uh, we use two natural latex mattress toppers to make our mattress and they're enclosed in uh, a weatherproof bag as well as the sheet. And they are resting on a three panel system that uh, unscrews and can be easily removed and the system is resting on a set of rails one on each side and so if you needed to take the bed out fully uh, you could do it probably in about 20 minutes the panels themselves are easy it's dealing with the mattress that's a little bit more time consuming but it's a super comfortable this is a full queen size bed and as you can see there's a little bit of space on either side for books and tablets and whatever you need to store there. So it's really a very, very roomy and spacious sleeping arrangement. Just to the inside of our bed is our Webasto temperature controller. So that controls our diesel heater. So we'll give you a tour of the outside of the van. Uh, one of the features that's kind of an indoor outside feature is this right here, this drop down table. Uh, and this is our happy hour table. So we love to put a beer or margarita or a glass of wine here, some cheese, prosciutto, pepperoni, so good. So that happens all right there. Up here we have our outdoor camping light and the switch for that is right here. Moving around the van, This is our uh, 10 gallon gray water tank and release valve. And that comes off of our sink. Up top, we have our Fiamma F65S awning. I think this one is 12 feet. It could be longer, but it's super long and it makes an awesome sun shelter, rain shelter when we roll that out. It's absolutely fantastic. Moving around to the back, we have our powder coated ladder. Uh, and we added this to carry camp chairs with, and that's pretty handy. Uh, we use this to access the solar panel and the two fantastic fans up on top. So that's super, super nice. 
Moving into the back. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> oh, come here, baby. Come here, girl. So here in the back, we have our uh, two lengths of Mac Verse track, and attached to that, uh, these aluminum strut bike mounts. These are totally removable. They just unscrew and pop off. And one of the things we love about this length is just how cavernous this space is. This space is over six and a half feet deep. And we can pretty much fill this with, oh, a month's worth of gear easily. So that's super handy. So over here, we have two light switches. One of them controls the garage lights down below. And those are super handy for accessing our gear when it's dark. And uh, so we love having those. Also in the back, we have another 110 volt outlet. And this is a 12 volt outlet. Over here, our second light switch controls our loading lights up on top. And those are super bright. And we've used those many times pulling in late to a campground. So here you can see uh, the back of the sleeping area a little bit. Uh, the other two berth lights and we've got a little bit of headspace room here. The cabinets come pretty far back, uh, but having that extra headspace is super nice. And here's our second fantastic fan. Top is the backup camera, which of course is standard on newer models, but uh, that was a nice addition for us and we're super happy to have it in the doors. The Kenwood Echelon speakers plus more storage hooks so very nice upgrade in addition there they sound awesome we have a massive amplifier underneath the passenger seat and they just kick out awesome tunes so another great feature here is uh, the shower so we run this from the front of the van and it does have hot and cold mixing valve there. So it's super nice to have a warm shower after a hard bike ride or hike. So that's been very, very handy. So here's our shore power. And this is a 30 amp shore power and it's very handy. And we've got some awesome snow tires as well as a set of road tires with the van and they have plenty of life left on them. And then this is the, uh, the venting for our hot water heater. So hot water heater vent there. Over here, we have our uh, manual water fill and then our city water bypass. So that, those two things are there. Underneath, this is our propane fill. And in addition to the propane fill underneath the van, we have our two AGM batteries are right here. And then we have our propane tank, which is attached to that. Just next to it is the vent for our Webasto uh, air heater. So that's our vent right there. A, a word about the wrap. Uh, as you can see, this is our representing our company. And this is a custom vinyl wrap that we had done. And one of the, the reasons we did it this way is that it's layered. So each of these colors is a separate layer. And so all of our company information is just sitting right on top. And uh, when we want to, we can remove that and then still have this base matte black and metallic silver, which I think makes the van look, look really, really good. So the wrap has been super durable. Uh, it's protected it a lot. These tall vans, when you take them overlanding or backcountry style trips, uh, there's definitely a lot of low hanging brush that can pinstripe the roof. So underneath this is just a pristine white painted van. So we thought a lot about what kind of van we wanted to get when we did our conversion. And this is basically has two functions. It's a work truck for us, as well as an overlander camper adventure rig. So for that reason, we chose the 170 inch wheelbase rear wheel drive with the extended body, mainly because of space. 
we can fit a full couch in front with the six foot galley and still have plenty of room for a queen size mattress in the back and what's essentially a full trucks bed, a full size truck bed worth of space underneath that for all of our equipment and supplies. So we really love the size and the Sprinter platform is amazing. It handles much smaller than it is and we've gotten it into some really tight places and uh, there's actually plenty of clearance so we really haven't had any problems getting this down dirt roads. Van Specialties out of Portland, Oregon did the conversion for us and they did a phenomenal job. All top uh, grade, high quality materials, uh, Baltic birch plywood, all the fittings, everything is just top notch. Uh, it's held up really well. We're super pleased with the work they've done and we would definitely use them again for future conversion. Thanks so much for watching this tour. I hope you like it. I hope you got some good ideas. Uh, leave comments below about your favorite feature or if you have a van, one of the things that you love most about it, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more fun travel related content. Thanks for watching.